Hello YouTubers! The Apostle SF Samar here for you. I have been delinquent in my posting. I apologize for this. I had a very demanding job. But I'm here. It is currently about 3 o'clock. I, I don't have a clock in my office. Um, it keeps me from being late. No clocks. Can't be late. Uh, right. So, I, I, uh, it's the middle of the day. I'm here, and I'm making a post while the sun is out. This means the simple fact that I have quit my job. Uh, my job was one of digging and hard labor and, and such things. The, um, the second job. And, um... I've recently learned that I can't do those things. Uh, I had multiple car accidents, and I went to see a doctor recently, uh, last night actually, and he told me that there's a good chance I've got a pinched nerve in my lower lumbar region. That's bad. So I went in and quit my job today. Hence me making this post. So, I have time, uh, what little time I had free before is now there once again. Yeah. So, I am here. <laughs> and I am, I am ready to make some, some posts for you. Today is, uh, Primero de Mayo, uh, the, the first of May. That is a Mexican holiday. That's what my car my calendar tells me. I think it's weird that uh, pardon the, uh, the, the 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 candor, but I think it's weird that um, Mexicans have like Primero de Mayo, Cinco de Mayo. We have the Fourth of July. Those days exist, whether you make them holidays or not. But that's neither here nor there. The focus of this post today is uh, my men's ministry that I told you I would tell you about. So, uh, it is a ministry focused around men. Young men, to be specific. Uh, it's a conference that is starting this July. Um, it, it's focused around stopping the nonsense. Like, guys hitting their girlfriends. Um, guys being rude and crass all the time uh, and, and it's also there to help to help the, the spiritual growth of men in this area and hopefully eventually around the world it's to get people to get men from down in the muck the miry clay up to standing on the solid rock because ladies and gentlemen I use that term those terms loosely I don't know you <laughs> I'm kidding I'm sure you're all ladies and gentlemen people degrade the men in our culture I find all sorts of stuff there are, there are shows on TV that that have Men is the bumbling idiot that know nothing and are useless without their wives. Um, everybody loves Raymond. And, you know, we, we have such such movies as The First Wives Club, which I realize is old, but it's it, it's there. <laughs> and we, we have The First Wives Club that portrays men as losers that are only out to, to get you for one thing. And uh, I, I have found that that's not me, and that's not most of the guys I know, so obviously that's not a good cross-section of the male culture. I'm out to change the way that men perceive their world and the way that the world perceives men. We're not animals. We are people. We are courageous. We're bold, strong, intelligent, valuable. Women are to be treated as queens, as the most, our most prized possession. 
Possession is not the correct word. <laughs> I'm getting that for that one. Uh, our, our companions, if they're with us, our loved companions. And my girlfriend, I treat her as my loved companion. I I am with her for the for the express purpose of loving her for as long as humanly possible. And, and, and really nothing else. I am here to show men that there is a new way to do Christian. That maybe we've been doing it wrong or, or maybe we could, we could reformat what we've fallen away from, but I've seen far too many Christian and non-Christian men acting in ways that are unacceptable. And Renegade is here to change that. As a man, I am out here every single day to show you, to prove to you that I'm valued to someone. That one is Jesus Christ. That name has power. If you're a Christian, when I said that name, you were happy about it. Or complacent, because you've heard it so many times. If you're not a Christian, that name probably made you pretty uncomfortable. There's power in the name of Jesus Christ. I love you guys. I have nothing else to say for this day. I think that's pretty heavy. <laughs> so from this humble youth pastor, this one right here, wearing the Punisher shirt that you can't see, out to all of YouTube land, find me at a later date.